Welcome to Black Ribbon Trails Review. I'm your host, Jeremy. This is a review on the Needle Nail Knot by CNF Designs. I am going to use the Lampson Reel and apply it to the Cortland Nymph line. I have to say, it's a nice machined tool with a magnet at the end. It feels great in the hands. It's on the uh, small side, which is perfect for storing. And I'm going to put it down, take out my reel, and unwind this fly line here. And uh, it's a Cortland line, and it's a Guru S. Lampson reel. But we'll talk about that later if y'all want me to do a review on it. Just let me know in the comments below or send me a message. Alright, this uh, needle nail, it's great. It's a needle on one end, a tubing on the other. You'll see how it works once I get it demonstrated here. All right, this fly line's all ready. I had a super glue splice failure constantly with this thing. That's why I'm gonna update it with this needle nail knot. You see how easily it fails. All right, let me clip the ends here. It's important for the mono to have a steep angle on there. Uh, more on the pointy side so you can get it through the braided core line. And then I'm going to clip off the glue um, on my fly line and get it going here. Alright, now that's all clipped. I'm going to wet the mono. Let's keep it in my mouth here. Take out the needle and put it in the braided core. And put it in about a quarter of an inch and then poke a hole through the braided core. That's where it's gonna, the knot's gonna grip pretty much over that hole. When you have that hole established by the needle, what you'll do is slide the braided cord down the needle, a little wider at the base of it, and uh, you'll stretch it out so we can fit this mono core leader through it. You just loosen it up, work your way down, and keep working until the hole stretched out to fit the monocore in. You work both sides. Start with one side. Once it's good, take the needle out. Insert it on the other side of the braided core. And uh, keep working your way down until that hole is established for the monocore leader. Alright, now the wet leader goes through. This is a 20 pound amnesia leader uh, that I'm using. I'm trying to get it through here. Um, it's not as easy as it looks. All right, make sure you have enough on the tail end there. And then you grab the tubing, you line it up. Make sure the uh, mono and the fly line uh, is snug against the tubing, both uh, right next to each other and then the first loop around the tubing is the hardest uh, once you get that established make sure it's tight and then you keep turning it and hold everything that you're turning make sure nothing moves it's nice and firm and you keep turning I do about six turns make sure you hold that monofilament really tight against the tubing all right, then you insert the rest inside the tubing. Make sure you have enough material inside the tubing. Then you pull the tubing while holding snug. There you go. And then what that'll do is feed the mono through. That tag in will be right through those wraps you just made. And then the tag ends, you pull Make sure you pull each side until it's snug against the fly line. And then you want to work that mono knot down the fly line uh, where the hole that you made with the needle. And then you just keep working this knot down while holding those wraps. And then once it's snug enough, you can let go. And then make sure that your wraps are not overlapping, that they're nice and clean. 
because this is going to go through the ferrules so you want to make sure they don't get caught so that knot has to be clean as possible otherwise this knot won't work as well as you'd like it to work all right so my hemostats tighten that up now that i'm over the hole that i made with the needle and just keep tightening this knot until the knot is firm and looks like it's pretty good now got everything the way I like it I'm gonna take the hemostat off all right now let's do one more clean up clean up the wraps get it down where I want it to be all right it's looking pretty good I like it examine it Always look at your work, make sure you like it. Let's get rid of this tag in here. I always like the clip as close as possible. Like I said, it's going through the ferrules, so you wanna make sure it's nice and clean. This needle nail knot is a really good tool. It's well made, it's machined out of uh, stainless steel, and it just feels good in the hand. It's not cumbersome like traditional uh, nail knot tools. I'd recommend it for yourself or for anybody. It's made in Japan. Packaging is great. It's well made. I give it five stars. Thank you all for listening to my review. Mash that like button and subscribe for more reviews. Check out my Instagram page at Black Raven Trails. Have a good day.